Good morning. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Thanks for joining me for Rise and Shine with Miko. So there's another funny human design, human invented idea or an illusion of lack that I've been playing around with, that I've been experimenting with. And it's also one of the biggest reasons why I have decided to go on to my entrepreneurship path about three years ago. You know, this whole concept of saving up money for a nest egg by the time I retire and then I enjoy life. Like this whole concept just never makes sense for me. Like it never makes sense for me to put things aside, like, you know, pile it up, save it up for emergency, whatever you want to call it for your retirement and then work, 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 work your way until you are like 50 or 60 and then you enjoy life. Like, to me, it doesn't make any sense, right? Just just the same concept. Like, would you ever take in as much air as you can for like a 50 years worth of air and then you breathe, right? It doesn't make sense. The same concept with like money and breathing. We breathe in, we breathe out. It's a flow. It's a constant flow in and out, in and out. But somehow hum humans, we made up this concept. We made up this illusion of lack that we got to pile it up, save up a nest egg and just keep it away. Keep it away for, I don't know, for the rest of your life, like 50 and up, and then you're gonna spend it and enjoy it. So it's the same exact concept as I'm gonna save up, um, I'm gonna put, you know, take in a bite of food that is, okay, uh, how do I even put it? <laughs> it doesn't make sense for me. Like it's like breathing in 50 years worth of air so that you can have enough to breathe out and breathe in and breathe out and breathe in. It doesn't work. <laughs> like it's the, 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 what I'm trying to say is it doesn't work that way. And to me, all I know is that I live by this mantra. This is it right now. This is it right now. This moment. This is it right now. That's it. This is it right now, right? So if you live with this idea that all you have is this moment, then how much do you ever need to savor this moment? Do you need a million dollars? Do you need a massive uh, success in order to savor this moment, which is all you have? You know, all I'm choosing from this moment forward is to savor this moment right here and right now, everything that's unfolding in front of me. It could be the sip of water that I'm drinking. It could be the, the, the breath of air that I'm taking in. Like, what if this is it? Like, really, what if this is it right here and right now? And you never know what's going to happen. That's, that's the reality. We never know what's, what's going to happen, but we live as though we have a million years left to live, right? We're constantly saying, tomorrow I will do this. Uh, an hour from now I will do this or I'm going to save this money for for uh, whatever. So, I mean, there's a balance. I'm, I'm still trying to find that delicate balance between, you know, being responsible versus, um, you know, really being in the now, really living in the now, present moment, moment by moment. But I also genuinely believe that I am a part of birthing through, through this new humanity, this new consciousness where humans are so much more in the now. We are living in the now. We're fully alive in the now and no longer so much driven by our past, driven by the future. And to me, that's the way to live a fully alive and rich, juicy life experience. Um, so it's going to require some um, letting go, releasing of beliefs and conditioning from the past that um, it's not going to work. It's not going to work where I'm headed to to this new road that I'm birthing. So really think of it that way. Really like play with this idea today. Really entertain this idea of like, how can I savor this moment right in front of me? Because this is it right now. That's all I have. <laughs> so have an amazing day, everyone. Sending so much love your way and I'll see you soon. Bye.